Hey, Wilson Taylor here. Welcome back everyone. Today we're taking a look at how to hook up the DJI RS2 Raven Eye. It is an image transmitter for your camera or for the gimbal. That way you can control the gimbal as well as controlling some features on your camera. Before you really even get into hooking up the cables, hooking up the Raven Eye, download the Ronin app. That way you're ready to go. Now let's discuss how to hook this up. When looking at your Raven Eye, it has a hot shoe on the top of it or bottom, depending on how you're looking at it. This hot shoe you can connect or if you're using a cage. Again, it transmits an image. So you can use it without the gimbal. On the Raven Eye itself, on the back side of it, it has one input port. And all that is, is to charge the Raven Eye. You do not actually have to have this connected to the gimbal or connected to your phone if you're using it without the gimbal. The same cable that you use to charge the gimbal is the same cable that you can use to charge the Raven Eye. If you have it charged up, again, you don't have to have it connected. Now attaching the Raven Eye, again, you have the hot shoe on the very bottom or top of the Raven Eye, depending how you're looking at it. If you're looking at your gimbal, it has a hot shoe connector here. It just slides in, you are connected. Make sure that the antennas are pointing outward, not towards the gimbal itself. You fold them back in, if you need a better connection, I have found you do not need the antennas out depending on how far you are away from the image transmitter itself. So using the cable that comes with it that has the 90 degree, this just plugs directly into the Raven Eye and then it goes to the very bottom port on your gimbal. Like so. And then the top port here goes directly to your camera. So this is the camera control cable. If you're using the Canon, all you have to do is plug and play. If you are using a Sony camera, it's not as simple to hook up as the Canon cameras. It's not as plug and play, so to speak. Go into your menu on the back of your camera, click on the green globe, and then scroll down to control with smartphone. Then just make sure that is off. Now you're ready to go. So then that'll go into your Sony or Canon or Blackmagic, whatever you're using. And now you have another cable on your Raven Eye and the one that the port that is facing out that plugs directly into the Raven Eye. It has two ports, one in closer to the gimbal and one out away from the gimbal. You're only going to use that one. And then this again goes into the Raven Eye into your camera. And what this does is now transmits the image to the Raven Eye and out to whatever device that you are using, such as an iPhone or Android phone. Now that you have all the cables hooked up to your camera, go into your app. Make sure your Bluetooth is off. If the Bluetooth is on, it'll want to right away hook to the gimbal. So go into your app. And if you notice here, as soon as you click down at the bottom, It'll take you to this screen here. So now with the Wi-Fi, you enter the password that is on the Raven Eye next to the power on button. Now go ahead and turn the device on, turn your camera on, and now turn the Raven Eye on. Make sure that you press and hold the Raven Eye until the button turns red. And now you'll be able to connect the Wi-Fi. Now that you have the Wi-Fi, you can use it via a tablet or smartphone device and control the different settings. So right here from the app, you can control the shutter speed, the ISO and the aperture, as well as you can put it into some different modes. Now that you are looking at the app, you're able to see what your camera is transmitting. Make sure you have your lens cap off, that would help. So you notice on this screen at the top, you have enable force mobile. If you go ahead and click on that and enable that, that now now allows you to use your tablet or device to move the gimbal as well as record or even take photos from that. And everywhere that you move that device, 
the gimbal itself will move. Or you can click on the top and click onto virtual joystick. Same thing, now you're just manually using your phone or your tablet as a joystick and you can move the gimbal around. The DJI RS2 has some beautiful features. In order to enable and use all of the features of the DJI RS2 gimbal, you need, it's not maybe or kind of, you need the Raven Eye in order to enable things like Force Mobile or the joystick or even transmitting an image. Active Track. Active Track is such a great feature to this gimbal. But without the Raven Eye, you can't dive into it. You can't actually use this gimbal to its fullest. One of the beautiful things about the Raven Eye is you do not need the gimbal itself. You can take this and put it on a different camera and transmit that image. Have full control of that separate from the DJI gimbal. I hope this video helped you guys understand how to hook up the Raven Eye because it can be so confusing. Trust me, I know I was frustrated for hours because why? DJI did not make this simple. Unfortunately, they don't make a lot of things simple on I think majority of all the products. They sure do produce a beautiful product though, do they not? Do they explain it very well? How to hook things up? No. So you have to search all over. You can read all the PDFs online. Get a giant magnifying glass and read the manuals if that's what you're really into. Or watch videos like this. Thank you DJI. You make it difficult, don't you? Ugh. I hope you guys have a great day, great rest of your week. Make sure to leave me a comment if there is a feature that you would like me to dive a little bit more into. Let's get out of here and go keep creating things or create something if you haven't created anything yet. Get off the couch from watching this and go make something. I hope this helped. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. We will see you guys in the next one. All right, well, I'm out of here.